Ladies and gentlemen, once again, welcome to the World Series of Fighting 13, and welcome our viewers at WSOF.com, streaming live. And now, introducing, we are at a catch weight of 120 pounds in the female World Series of Fighting division. Introducing on the blue side, her record, zero wins, one defeat. Standing five feet, three inches tall, weighing 120 and one half pounds, fighting out of Boonton, New Jersey. Introducing Brigitte Lavica. Norsis! And now her opponent across the Decagon on the red side. She is undefeated with one victory. Standing five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 122 and one half pounds, fighting out of Kenilworth, New Jersey, presenting Caitlin Chukagan. Your referee for this contest is Bill Bookwalter. So a 19-year age advantage goes to the favor of Caitlin Chukagan, or is it advantage? Bridget Narcisse, Boonton, New Jersey, taking on Kenilworth, New Jersey. It's the battle of the Garden State boss in this catchweight bout for the women. Wow. You know, Narcisse loves the ground. She's a very experienced grappler. She's going to try to take this fight to the ground. Her opponent, of course, being the Golden Gloves champ, is going to keep it on the feet. Try to keep it on the feet. Ready to start throwing the jab there. Good footwork. Right away, move to the side. Wow, big knees coming. Chukagan at 5'9", having no problem going upstairs on the much shorter 5'3", Narcisse. But she needs to watch out, because now Narcisse has the clinch. And of course, she trains in mixed martial arts, Kathleen, but uh, you know, if your style is better on the feet, stay on the feet. Avoid the clinch. Narcisse with the very powerful legs, trying to step through and get a judo toss in or something to get this thing to the ground. That's gonna be a tall order for her all night long because a six inch height advantage to Chukagan. Yeah, she needs to stay here the whole time. Grab that light now, see if she can take the take down, get a takedown. She's got, oh, look at this. Chukagan is looking like she wants to go for a normal plot. No, no, it's a triangle choke, it's, it's on already. Now I see it, wow. Let me see. Wait, 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 wait. She's not just happy with the choke. Look at this. She's raining down the elbows as well. Narcisse going to try to step through. Very nicely done. She's got to push her hips up and pull the head. And what Narcisse is doing, moving to the sides, very smart. Post that knee on the face. She can do that. And then push off on the face. You can't knee the face, but you can push your knee on, on there, place it on there, and then push yourself away. And then the harder your opponent holds you with the legs, the more power she's more pain she's going to get in her, on her face. It's a really nice way to, to escape. And she is out, jumps over the top, and now she's going for the Omoplata. Wow, early action here in the women's catchweight bout of 120 pounds. Caitlin Chukagan in the purple, and Brigitte Narcisse in the black. She knows a ground game too, our boxer. And she's staying active too. Yeah. If she can bring that arm over there, you know, she, where's the, oh, it's like that. Well, yes, she can still pull it off. No, she has to watch, ah, oh, she has to control the body because otherwise they roll out just like they did. And Chukagan steps away. Nice jab landing there, stick and move, that's what they call it. Yeah, this is where Narcisse can have a problem, you can see early on there, even if she tries to come in, oh, she's got to get uppercut. through that reach. Right uppercut, sorry. Lead uppercut on that. Boom, and again. She can throw an uppercut from far away yeah, she can. with the long arms. Oh, that punch you have to watch out for, high on the head, we saw it. Rothwell delivering one to over him, and he went down. Narcisse has to watch out with the single kicks. I always talk about it, especially against a great boxer. The only thing they have to do is throw that cross, just like that. But then at the moment, they kick. See, now she doesn't go for the clinch anymore. Yeah. Inside kick there from Narcisse, spinning back fist. Every time she comes in, talking about Narcisse, 
She gets tagged with that straight left. Nice low kick. Probably I would set it up because you don't want us just to grab that low kick and go for another takedown. Oh, great footwork here. I can't let you pay them. There, she grabbed that leg. Just to watch out for that. Now she's looked at her corner, yep. looking for instructions. But I would, I would not look. I would just <laughs> aim my ear to the corner. <laughs> at the corner. Under 40 seconds to go here. Round number one. This one's scheduled for three. Catch weight bout. World Series of Fighting 13 from the Sands Hotel and Casino in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Narcisse looked like she was going to get a takedown, and Chukagan just steps away. You know, it almost makes me look, 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 look. She wants to go for almost for Nima. In, in front of the heel hook. How about this? What do we got? 15 seconds. She's got to pull the knee. Yeah, there we go. She's got it. She's got it on. She's got a real 10 seconds. Now they go. Great defense here by Chukagan. Wow. It developed kind of slow, but I give Narcisse a lot of credit, boss. She went for a little bit of an unorthodox move there, needed something, a game changer to finish up round number one. Very nicely done. You know, there's a Facebook post that I did like, I don't know, six weeks ago where I talk about pushing the toes and pulling the heel instead of doing a heel loop. Look that post up because this is the third fight we see it that you can do that move and it's very hard to defend. You see, starts cranking the arm, but right away, her opponent is simply peeling the hands off. And that's the correct way to defend this. But there's another way. <laughs> and I know that. I did that, and I told this before, to a Japanese guy, and he is screaming for pain. I had maybe three people in the audience clapped because they thought it was funny. <laughs> but then later when they saw the replay, you can really dislocate the knee. It's like, a, it's an exactly like an, uh, an inverted healer. Only you do it different. As we get set to start round number two, we'll go back and listen in on what their corner, or her corner, excuse me, told her during that stoppage time. Give me my piece. Breathe. Okay. Deep breath. Now forget all the, the hype, forget all the hype, and do what you do in the class, in the training. Do you understand? Just like you do. Believe in yourself. Let her exchange, then take her down. Go all the way. Do you understand? Uh -huh. Do you understand? Uh -huh. Okay, the, the end was good, but it's still, I think, we're behind with this. Yeah. All right? You gotta catch up. You gotta work. work. Okay. Look at the footwork. She's so nice, so great on her feet, constantly moving side to side, let her miss. Working angles on her, punches, boom, boom, moves to the side. She's like a uh, Mount uh, Morais. He's quick. Chaitlin Kukit, Chaitlin Chikagan. Reversed it. Whole position here. Doesn't even want to go for a ground upon. Doesn't want to take the risk. She goes like, I get a leg lock. Uh, yeah. Got a little close. Let's stay away from that. Well, we saw it earlier in the fights tonight. And Matt Lozano had the speed advantage on his opponent, Honorio, and in the end, it was Honorio who goes upstairs with a high kick. Lozano goes to block it, breaks his left forearm. Yeah. That was wild. He's dangling there. But the speed factor up until that point was, you know, Honorio just had no answer for it. And that's what we're seeing here also now. Does it go straight back? Golden rule. And uh, she lives by that rule. Great take down defense here again. Go for a leg lock again now. Now she's got to pull the right knee, and I'm talking about, uh, sorry, Narcisse. She can't do it anymore now. She's out. Narcisse in the black, trying to fish for another submission attempt on Chukagan, who calmly spins away and gets the fight back on the feet. Leg locks, you don't want to start fishing for the heel hook. You want to pull the knee, 
to the opposite side, and then the heel will automatically present itself. Oh, that was step right in time. In. Now elbows, yeah, that's it. And again, she's out. And you're right, Narcisse stepped right into that. They're going to call the doctor and take a look at her. She walked right into that. Officials time out as Bill Bookwalter wants the doctor to take a look at this. No problem, they can still fight. It's underneath the eye, which is a good thing, so blood cannot get into the eye. Above the eye, you know many times you see the referee stop it. Oh, look at that. Oh, man. She's a kickboxing champion, yeah. too. <laughs> that's, that's impressive. <laughs> that was that very nice. Oh, Superman points. Man, you gotta give it to Narcisse. She's got a lot of heart. Boss, do you think this would be a different fight if Narcisse was 5'9 and not 5'3? Yeah, yeah, a completely different fight, I think. Well, still, the footwork from uh, Chukaigan yeah. is really good. You know? Every not to take it away from Caitlin, she's doing a great job. And she's clearly yeah. winning this fight, not just because she's taller. And it's like I said, it's like Marlon Marias, you know? She's, she never stands in one spot, constantly moves. And you gotta be impressed with Caitlin, Caitlin Chukaigan's poise inside. She's not getting away from what she knows how to do. You know, it's gone to the ground a few times. She could probably go to the ground and exchange with Narcisse, but she said, that's not my world. I'm not having any part of it. Yeah. She'll step away from that, keep this thing on its feet where she has been dominant. And you can see that she competed more because she picks the smart way. Sometimes you go like, oh, but I can do the ground too. Right. And you, you know, it's an ego thing. Right, right. And then you go to the oh, ground and suddenly you can't go out. Yeah. Because otherwise the people in the Audience are going to think that I'm not good on the ground. You know, it's that ego who starts talking to you. Don't listen to that. Just play your game. Be well-rounded, but do what you do. <laughs> That's it. Caitlin Chukagan, 25-year-old out of Kenilworth, New Jersey, taking on Brigitte Narcisse out of Putin, New Jersey. The Battle of the Garden State, but this one's clearly in favor of Chukagan. And it's kind of purple. I'm not good with the colors. That uh, it's, sure it's is purple, yeah. Lavender? It's purple. Lavender, yeah. Lavender, when you say that, you smell that flower. Yeah. Lavender. Wow. And again, Narcisse is the flower. The lavender is also. It's like a plant flower thing. Bucky I gotta look that up. I Google it. <laughs> Tells her, look at that, just pushes the fighter away. Combination one, two, one, two, push away, step away. Final 10 seconds, round number two. This one's scheduled for three. So another good round for Caitlin Chukagan, young lady out of New Jersey with a very strong performance in round number two on Bridget Narcisse as we take a look at a few of the highlights. And again, Chukagan demonstrating her prowess with the striking and with her reach. Very impressive as we check in with Joey Varner. Thanks, guys. I'm in the corner with Caitlin Chikagian and Frankie Edgar's giving her very precise advice. They say that Narcisse is bending over as she bull rushes in. What they want to see her do is time that, take a half step back, and let her run into that knee. She's done a good job of do utilizing that weapon so far, and they really feel like that if she lands a good knee like that, she could probably finish her in the third round. Yeah, no question about it, boss. She walked into that, and with the height advantage, those knees come up with those long legs. She's going to and knock her back into the Garden State. So round number three is set. Final preparations being made in the corner of Narcisse, and the doctor taking a little extra time to take a look at her, her corner, giving her final instructions, and Bill Bookwalter, our referee, being a little lenient as they clear the corner. Yeah. She looks like a tank, eh, Narcisse? Look at that. Very powerhouse. A lot of heart in that young lady. 44 years young, and she comes to oh. the world of MMA, and she's coming out firing. <laughs> yeah, that's what I always say with good strikers. You know, still, if you can push him backwards and keep him inside the whole time, 
It's very hard for them to strike, but here she goes again. Move to the side There's right the herself. Puff, puff, and she moves away. See, tuck, tuck, move away. Expect that right uppercut coming again. Nice knee. Wow. Oh, nice another one. Controlling oh. the head, and there it is. There it is. It's over. Wow. Oh, yeah, that was well, not in the nose. Just as Joey Varner reported and her corner telling her, Frankie Edgar on the lot saying if she comes in on that bull rush, bring the knee up, and it was the knee that ended it in round three. Wow. Let's take a look at that beautiful knee one more time. Boom, there's the first, first body almost. Boom, there's, there's the good. second. And now it goes third. Oh, yeah. What did they say, boss? Third time's the charm? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Frankie Edgar here, as you mentioned. Frankie knows a thing or two about knees. Oh, man. <laughs> if somebody, you know, talk about the ultimate tough guy, that's Frankie Edgar. Man. It's like, you know, if you if you know that you're going to fight that guy, right. you go like, oh, God, I'm in for a war. In for a long one. <laughs> yeah. A lot of credit to Bridget Narcisse. I'll yeah. tell you. Amazing. She got hammered on the first and second rounds and the third round she was coming out looking for more and gets caught with not one not two but three knees from Caitlin Chikagian and that's it yeah and this the last one was a direct hit great high kick off also that spinning back kick she did the spinning uh, kick to the head yeah, played a very smart game. Boss, you should see if she'll give you one of her t-shirts, Blonde Fighter. I can see you training one of them. Yeah. I can see you rocking that. Me too, and I fly a blonde, buy a blonde wig. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't have a mark on her face. Look at this. Now, she can't do a photo shoot right now. With the official decision, we sent it inside the cage and Jazz secure. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Bill Bookwalter has seen enough to stop this fight. At 38 seconds of round number three, your official technical knockout decision, your winner, Caitlin Chukagan. Look at the highlights one more time as we take a look at uh, what Caitlin was able to accomplish in two and a half short rounds. Wow, the way she jumped on here, boom, right away took her in that triangle choke, so she knows what to do on the ground as well. Defending here, the uh, inverted heel hook very well, just peeling the hands off. Now she's tried to push that leg away to create space, which was a very smart thing here. Again, she wants to go for the inverted heel hook. But again, Chukaigan just rolling out, and then she decided to not go to the ground anymore. And that was the final knee right there on the nose. Yeah. Get ready. What you wanna do? If you don't strike first, that's when they gon' come at you. Yeah. And you know it's true. Don't let your life get worse. Be timid, that ain't cool. Nah. No.